Okay, it's cold. All right, what's up YouTube? Let's talk about ice baths. So I've been having some issue with my uh, with my right knee. I got inflammation in there. Um, it's definitely running down the inside of the uh, of the right knee. Noticed it really bad today. So what I'm going to do uh, tonight here is I'm going to take an ice bath. So I wanted to, I figured this would be a good video topic. Not a lot of people know about these. Not a lot of people do them because they're uncomfortable. Um, but they are highly effective at reducing the localized inflammation that you may be having. So in my case, it's right about here. So the way an ice bath works is you have ice and you submerge your body in this ice water. It's going to be around 50 to uh, 55 degrees. Sometimes you can go down to 45 degrees if you're really feeling uh, like being cold. But what it does is the cold basically, say we have inflammation right here running down the leg. It's going to basically shut down that inflammation because it's going to be, be a huge ice pack, an ice pack for your whole lower half in the bathtub. And that's going to make everything cold. The cold is going to bring the inflammation down. And then when you get out and the body warms up again, specifically your legs. So, you know, you get out, dry off. I recommend getting right under blankets. The body's going to warm up. It's going to be flushing the blood to the area that was previously shut down. That's going to flush with it nutrients. And the idea and the science here is that that rush of nutrients to an area that was previously damaged is going to help speed up the healing process. So ice baths are used by runners all the time, uh, professional athletes. Uh, the NFL um, has all of their players doing ice baths, uh, typically after hard training sessions and after the games. So we're going to do one today. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not that bad. Um, so before we get started, you want to make sure you have what you need. So I have 20 pounds of ice. This might be a little excessive. Um, it's a lot of ice. So the water's already going to be cold because we're here in uh, March. The other thing I recommend is to have some type of thermometer. So this one's just a probe thermometer. Instant readout. I use this when I'm cooking chicken to see if it's done without actually cutting the chicken open. Uh, you're gonna need a bathtub, so you're gonna be jumping in here today, and you're gonna want some music to kind of keep your mind off of the cold. Um, you can keep, you know, I'm gonna keep compression shorts on. Um, you can do, uh, I think they're called booties. They're basically waterproof socks. If your toes get really cold, I'm not going to do any of that. Um, you only need to be in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to do, let's get that water going. We want to make sure it's cold. Okay, that's really cold. I'm not looking forward to this. All right. So you want to get a water level, it's going to basically allow your legs to be submerged with your upper body out of the water, that's going to prevent hyperthermia. Um, you can get really cold in these things, so one, one thing I do want to say is if you are shivering while I'm doing this, you want to definitely get out. So we're going to let it fill up. Alright guys, so we're almost full. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to step in, oh my god, alright, and then uh, shut this off. Okay, so here I just kind of ease, I ease my feet first. Work down in. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, it's cold. All right, so we haven't even added the ice. I'm going to get my handy thermometer here. Okay. 
Oliver, I don't think you went in here. Okay. All right, so we're already at 54 degrees just because it's cold outside. So we're gonna start now, so 15 minutes. Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes, starting okay. now. So I'm gonna add a little bit of ice just so we can get this down a little bit colder to where I'd like it to be. But we're already pretty, we're gonna add a little bit more water too. Pretty cold. Okay, so we'll check this guy one more time. Okay, so we're gonna check it again. We're gonna get it a little bit colder. It's getting warmer. How's that even possible? So the area around the ice is about. All right, so we're at 52 now. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it quits here. We'll put a little bit more in, but I think it's gonna take time to cool, cool down. Okay. So you know it's working when you have goosebumps all over the body. <sighs> Alright guys, so we we pretty much used the whole bag of ice, wasn't expecting it. Ugh, it's getting really hard to talk right now. Um, I don't recommend going under 50 degrees. Trust me, that is all you need. Doesn't hurt guys to move your legs, move your feet, move your toes, to make sure that everything is still working as it should. So I'm still able to curl my toes in. Yes! We are done. Alright, so Alright, one thing when you get out of here, your legs are gonna be stiff like you've never felt stiff before. They're totally shut off. So you're not gonna be able to bend, you're not gonna be able to do much of anything when you get up, so you need to move very, very slowly. <sighs> okay, so now you're done your ice bath. I recommend having a towel handy. We can go ahead and drain the water. Step out easily. And the first thing you want to do, guys, oh my god, is immediately dry off the legs. And then any clothing you're wearing, you want to take off because that wet that wet moisture is gonna to continue to wick heat away from the body, which is not what we want. So, 
we're going to do immediately take off the compression and just let ourselves warm up. Okay guys, and that is the ice bath. So I am, give you guys an idea, look at the color of my leg versus the color of my upper body. Isn't that crazy? So it is totally locked down and cold. But the body is now flushing everything up here, a lot of warm, uh, nutrient-rich blood flushing it down, and it's causing a localized response to the inflammation that was previously down here in the legs. So this is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna go let myself warm up, and you know I'm hoping to feel a lot better later today and, and tomorrow in this knee, and we'll continue to do this if we have to, but big step of self-care, preventative care, taking care of the body, listening to when things need to be done. So there, that's how you do an ice bath. If you guys have any questions, shoot a comment below. Make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button. Hit the bell so you're notified of all the new content I'm gonna be bringing to you very, very soon. I have a whole list of topics I'm planning on touching on just by the questions that you guys have been asking me. So hit me up on my Instagram, shoot me a DM, shoot me a message in the comments here, email me, go to www.garrethoover.com, check out the site, if you guys have any questions, shoot them right to me. I will respond immediately, I promise, and I will get that content up here on YouTube for you guys. But um, until next time, thanks for watching.